how to um, add products to the site uh, to your website um, and not only how to add products to your website but how to um, change products update products okay so the first thing you do um, obviously you have to be logged into the site anytime you see these bars because you're logged in um, so I'm gonna log out just so that we can start fresh okay so, and then Okay, so we're gonna start fresh here. I'm gonna log in. So how do how do we get to that login page? All you have to do you have to write down your website, and then you put forward slash wp admin. Okay, regardless what your website is, you put forward slash wp dash admin. Once you're logged in, okay, you go to products right over here. You go to all products. Okay, over here is where you can view the current products that you have on the site. Now, every time I build a site or our team builds a site, we load a, you know 10 products or so. Now, what we load in is just you know demo products. It's not like we're actually going in and putting all the information. Our job is to build a site. The client's job is to actually maintain it and upload things and all that, but we make it as simple as possible. So the first thing you would do, I think it would be a little bit easier, is to go in and clean up all of the demo products that we put in and actually put the proper photos, the proper images, the proper names, titles, description, and all that. So you log in, you click on products on the left, you see these products, right? So you go to edit whenever you want to edit a product, okay? Uh, whenever you want to just edit a name or something, you click quick edit, and it doesn't actually open a new page, it just opens this up. It allows you to change the name of the product, allows you to change the SKU if you're going to have a SKU AB12. This is just a way to, um, for, you know, it's like the ID that you give to each product, just easier for, you know, um, uh, administrative purposes. And if you want to change the category of the product, you can change it here. Uh, right now it's a, a choker, so it's in the feature, and it's also on their necklaces, right? And top sellers. Okay, so actually top sellers doesn't have to be selected. You can, you can hit update once you make the change. Notice that um, what when you want something on the home page, because the home page is your is your best plat place, right? It's your best place. When you want something on the home page, like here, you have to it the way that you do it is by selecting a category, okay? And the category you want to select, okay, it's feature. So whenever, usually most people will want just their best products or the products they're most excited about on the home page. So you, you, you put as under the category feature, uh, but because an item can have multiple categories, okay? Well, let's, let's actually look how to edit a product. You go to edit the product, okay? And once you click on edit, the product, product will open up. You want to change the name. Let's this is the name of the product, okay? Let's change the name. Um, Bohemian Man Chain Necklace. Okay, when you change when you change the name, usually it's very smart to change the this as well. So this is pretty much what the link is. You know, whatever your website is, www.yourwebsite.com forward slash product forward slash usually this matches this okay so you always want to put your link okay so see now when you want to send somebody to this product you just have them do a website for that com forward slash product forward slash whatever the name is here you type in the description of the product okay now a lot of people type in actual descriptions like a small paragraph about the product some people just type in like um, description of it like length and materials and what it's used you can do whatever you want here okay this is a, a description um, when you hit preview it doesn't save it only shows you what it looks like he opens on a new tab notice it changed the name to bohemian chain necklace right this is the product description whatever goes here it automatically goes here okay now that's that here uh, and then the next thing, you put your categories, okay? So it's a necklace or it's a ring, it's featured, it's not, if it's featured, it's gonna go on the home page. You can have multiple categories. For example, if it's a home 
decor, like if it's a home decor, you put it as a home decor, but then you also want to put it as, um, you also want to put it as an accessory, right? Because home decors and accessories are the same. Home decor is a subcategory of accessories. If you, if they click on accessories over here, and they go to accessories, you want them to be able to see home decor. You want them to be able to see all the bags and all the shawls. But also, if they want to just go to the direct pages, you want them to see those as well. So you can have multiple categories. Everything that it's an accessory, you put it as the accessory, and then what type of accessory it is. If you want it on the home page, you put feature. Okay? And in this case, this one is not an accessory and it's not a home decor. Okay? Once you do that, you put the name here and you put this here. Then you want to put a product image. Okay? You up, this is the main product image. The main product image, okay, is this one. Usually most people will have the main product image to be something on a white background. However, some people have a lifestyle image like this instead. Because some people believe that if you put a person wearing it, you're more likely to sell. So just look at your favorite e-commerce websites, your online stores, and see what you think is the best option. If you want to use a white image, or if you want to use lifestyle images okay whatever image goes here it's gonna be the first image that shows up and then here is the product gallery the first image here is the first image here as well whenever you hover over the first image that shows up it's because it's the first image here right but you can have multiple images right um, let's say let's click on one of these right you can have let's click on this the first image on the here, the pro, the featured image is the white one, right? So it's this image. The first image under the category, ca, under the gallery, is this one here, okay? The second image is this one here, and the third image is that. So people like to see a lot of images of like different people wearing product and such. But you can switch it around. You can make this image the first and this one the second, so that the lifestyle image shows up first, okay? So let's re let's recall it here. Um, recap the first uh, the title goes here. You may want to change the permalink. You want to whenever you create a product, the permalink automatically becomes this. You don't have to write this. You want to put the description. You want to put the categories. You want to put the images and the gallery. Okay, that's just the visual part of the product. Now you want to deal with like the more technical stuff. You go to product data down here. And you put SKU if you want to. You don't have to have it. SKU, um, no one sees it. It's for your own uh, behind the scenes. So you can like see products based on an ID. And that's if you want to. If you want to manage stock, you just click here, enable stock manage. And then you put here how many of that item you have. Um, so, and then pretty much allow back order. So, and then it tells you, hey, once you sell 56 of this, do you want to allow people to keep ordering? And you can say allow but notify the consumer, hey, this is a back order item. Or just allow them to continue to buy even though it's already out of stock. Or don't allow. So that what hap whenever it sells 56, it tells them, hey, this product is out of stock, okay? Shipping, you don't have to worry about because your shipping is going to be free. Most e-commerce have free shipping. I encourage you to work your shipping into the price. So you don't have to worry about this. This is to set dimensions and all that in order to calculate shipping costs. Um, you don't have to worry about this. Attributes, okay. So we'll go over uh, attributes real quick. It's very important that you uh, get this, okay? So this is the, this is an important part. So the most the hardest part is this, but I think you will get it. What's an attribute? An attribute is if this product has various uh, variations of it, right? And if it did, you have different photos of the different variations. Let's say there is a different color, right? And they can choose between the colors. Okay, each one of the variations is called an attribute. So that if it does, okay. So when you come here and the product has it has variables, has multiple different options. You choose here as a variable product, okay? When it's a simple product, it doesn't have any options, okay? It, sh it has zero options. Uh, things change. So over here, you put the price. What's the price? Uh, let's say $40. Is it on sale? Let's say it's on sale for 30 Let me show you what that looks like. 
Okay. I'll show you what that looks like real quick. See, it is $9.99, now $6.99, okay? But, you know, so it tells you what it was and what it is, okay? But you don't have, you can just keep regular prices. Usually if everything's on sale, people don't trust it. You only have want to have certain things on sale. Uh, you want to put, obviously, here the stock, 56. Do you want to allow people to buy it or not? Shipping, you don't have to worry. You don't have to worry about any of this. Now, the attributes, right? The color, okay? Let's, um, let's save this so I can show you what, what that looks like, okay? So do you want to, if you have options, have a, if you don't have options, you don't worry about the attributes. You don't have to do anything. But if the product is going to have options like this product, you definitely have to have attributes. And I, see this one, it says 56 in stock. You can put it there, you cannot. There is no attribute because it's a simple product, okay? It's a simple product, right? So that's what it looks like. That's what a simple product looks like. Let's go ahead and put attributes. To be attributes, you have to be variable product, okay? So we want attributes. And we go to attributes here. Okay, I'm going to start from scratch so you can see. Okay? Cost, do you want to add a custom attribute? Add. And then you hit add. And then you write. What do you want? Colors. Right? Colors. Because it's different colors. Or leather type. Leather type. Visible on product page. You have to check this and you have to check that. And then you write here the different options. So dark brown. And then you put this little line. Just this little line right here, dividing different options. Uh, brown, light, brown. Okay, now I created three options. You save the attribute, okay? And then you go, and then what it does, it creates variables for you. So you go to variations, and then you go here, and then you select create variations from all attributes, and you hit go, okay? And what it's going to do, it's going to add the three options, light brown, brown, dark brown, okay? So this is very important. So you first create it here, you create, put this little line to separate it, and then you use as variations, and you check these. You can go here, you go to go to create. At this point, you have three options, okay? Now, keep in mind that mo this option could be cheaper than this option, and this option could be cheaper than this option. So you actually have to click on each one. Click on this one, and what is going to happen is going to open this option, this information, okay? So I write here, what's the regular price? $40, sales price $30, boom. That's it. If you want to put stock information, is in stock, is it not in stock, you can do that here. Specifically for this item, you can manage the stock for it and put the amount that you have specifically of this one. Or if you don't, if you don't want to manage the stock, you just close it. And that way, you know, this item is always on your site. People can always buy. It's never a problem, okay? So it's up to you. So now you manage this information individually instead of for the whole project, right? So once you put the price for this one, you close. For brown, um, let's go ahead and put make it not on sale, just for $50. And then for dark brown, let's make it $60, okay? That's really like literally all you do, and you hit you hit save changes at the bottom, and then you go to the top, and you hit update. Okay, when you hit update or upload, you know the blue button on the top right, it's gonna make the product go live, and it's gonna apply the changes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the product, and I'm gonna refresh it so you can see. Notice the product is anywhere from thirty dollars to sixty dollars. Why? Because the this light brown was thirty, and then I put the dark brown for sixty. I can go here and choose my option. Light brown. Notice the price is thirty. Go to dark brown. Price is fifty. Go to dark brown. Sixty. Right. So, and then you can once you select it, you can add to cart. Okay, and that's how you manage this um, the types of product. Now because. Uh, See, so that's it, it's that simple, okay? And these products are added here automatically. All right, so now we know. Um, see, and it even adds here for you the different options. Leather type, allow people to review. You can see reviews here. So it's really, really cool. And you can add it to cart. And, the, you know, the product's been added to your car. You can like, view your car. Um, it's really cool. Um, 
anyway so that's how it works that's how you add variables versus adding um, single uh, simple products okay now what I'm going to show you notice this product is in the cart uh, we can go ahead to the card and act like we're checking out real quick now I'm going to show you how to add a product from scratch uh, it's the same thing very simple um, and when I do that, you're gonna see how to um, remove uh, what's the what's the word? You're going to see how to remove. Um, okay, so say it's added to the car. So I'm gonna show you how not how to remove how to add um, images from scratch and all these things. So uh, bear with me here. So you go to products instead of going to products you're not editing a product you're going to add new okay you go to add new okay you click on products and you click add new okay click products this is going to open you click add new so let's add some new products so what's the first thing we do we write the title of the product uh, new product computer is going super so all of a sudden description of product notice whenever I edit the product the name here it automatically made that the same thing as the permalink okay so you know you don't have to have to worry about writing the permalink unless you're updating the name then you have to update here as well everything goes here boom that's that name, description, permalink, automatically added. I'm gonna make this an accessory. I'm gonna make this a home decor. Okay, every every home decor is an accessory, so I'm gonna put it on both. Okay, then I go to product image. Okay, and I'm gonna add a product. Okay, so this one here, and then I'm gonna add just. Um, lifestyle photos of that product this one let's say that let's say this was a part of that right um, now I'm going to show you how to add now from scratch now these photos are already here what if I wanted to add a photo from scratch I click upload click select I find the photo on my computer it says this one I upload it now this is one of the most important parts and I want you to watch this carefully Okay, the reason why a lot of websites are very, very slow and they don't perform well on Google, it's for one reason. It's because uh, the files are too large. There is ver various reasons. It could be because the code is bad. It could be for many, many reasons. But one of the main reasons is because people add really, 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 really big, um, really big photos, right? And we don't want to do that. We don't want to add big photos. We want to add uh, small photos, the photos that are just big enough to fit and not no bigger, no not not smaller. Okay. So how do you how do you know if this photo is too big or too small? Let me tell you how. You look when you upload the photo. You look over here. It tells you the size. This photo is massive, 1700 by 1800 megabytes. What does that mean? That means that the photo is larger than the screen. Most screens are around 1400 megabytes. So now, because this photo is only going to live on half of the page, notice the product images are very small. They don't appear very big. And most of the time, when you do open the product, it's only going to be about three, two thirds or one third of the page right here. So if, if a regular screen is around 1400 in width, um, if it's if it's gonna only sit right here, so what's a third of that? It's only gonna be viewed on the third of the screen. What's a third of that? Third of fourteen hundred. Let's just say it's around five hundred, right? Four hundred something. But we can make it a little bit bigger. So you click Edit Image, okay? So you go here, you click Edit Image. I click that was a button right underneath here, and I click Edit Image, and it allows me to come here and to edit this image, okay? This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna change the, the size. So because the screen is around 1400, the photo is only gonna be on, on this side of the screen. Uh, I could put, you know, 
it's going to be a third of the screen, which is about 500. Uh, um, you know, if, if a screen is 5, 5, uh, 1,500, and you divide that by 3 because it's only ever going to be on a third of the screen. What I mean by that is this, is that the product, fo the product image shows up on the left, and it's never full screen. It only shows a small photo here. So let's go ahead and make it 600 or 700. 700 to 800 is always a safe number, okay? Sometimes when you when you write down the new dimension, it's going to give you this message, not available, which means it's not going to allow you to scale, okay? Notice it's not working. Um, the reason why it's not working is because uh, sometimes servers are just slow and you have to um, you have to wait a little bit. So let me show you how to to do that. Let me. So I'm gonna go back there. I'm gonna try to scale it this time. Let me see if you allow me. Probably not because the server is a little slow. Sometimes when you just upload a photo, you have to give it some time because the photo is still being optimized. Um, I'm gonna try it, and if it doesn't work, and see it's not working. So. I'll probably have to give it a few minutes. Notice this thing saying optimizing. It's probably why it's not allowing me to change it. But I can add a different photo. Let, let's let's go with this photo here, okay? And I'm gonna edit this image just so you can see it. This photo has already been optimized. So let's see if you would allow us to. Okay, I'm gonna make this photo uh, seven point seven hundred width. Hmm, interesting. I wonder why. Yeah, it should let you. Um, there, there must be something happening in the server. Um, this, it's the only reason. This only happens when usually the server is busy and, and it can't edit. But I'm glad that it's happening while I have you guys here. Uh, because you guys will know how to deal with it when it happens, okay? Really, all you can do is just wait. So I'm going to add the photo, even though it's long, at large for now. I'm going to close this. I'm going to add it. Just to show you, just to finish the process, then we come back and we make it smaller, okay? Let's just recap. We write the name, write the description. It's very easy. Put the category, upload the photo here, upload the photo here. Then we come here and we put a price, $50. Is it on sale for 40 or no? No, it's not on sale. Inventory. Do you want to manage the inventory? Manage stock and only sell 40? Yeah, let's do that and not allow people to buy it once it runs out. Let's give it an ID, B3. Shipping, no. Attribute, no. It's a simple product. Let's look to see what this product looks like. See, if you click preview, it shows you what it looks like, but it doesn't save it. It doesn't save it until you click save. Notice, because I added the stock to 40, it tells me how many it's left. Okay, it shows me the categories it's in. It shows me the description I wrote. It shows me the photos I added. Okay, I'm gonna save this, and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you uh, something. Okay, I'm gonna go to a shop here. Yeah, I can. I'm gonna go to click on accessories. So you can see the product's gonna be there now. See how the product is there. Right, but the product is also under homes because I checked both of these um, both of these categories. See how it's under home as well? Because you know it's under both categories. So all that to say, check as many categories you want. To notice all the recently viewed products are here. You know this is awesome for your clients. My cart is here, so your client can always see their cart and see what they're buying. Go ahead and always check out. They can also see their cart here. If they hover over, uh, which is kind of cool, and they can remove items from their cart or continue to check out. So it's really, really cool. Um, so that's that. That's how you add a product. When you, if you like how it looks, you just hit update and, and it saves. Very simple. Uh, I wish the server was operating fast and things were normal so I can show you how to. Um, change the size of the photo but it's simple um, if the servers are normal I've just been building the site for so long today that it's everything just catching up um, so but I'll just show you real quick click edit image uh, whenever you upload and then you go here you type in the new oh it worked now 500 see I changed from 600 
for 500. So ideally, you want to be, be between 700 and 800 around there. Uh, it's a good size to be. So I'm going to make this 550. You hit scale. That's it. It's that simple to change the size of an image. Now I can close this and go back here. This image now is a different size. Even though it doesn't show here just yet, if I were to close and come back, you will see that the image is a different size. Um, let's see, well, you have to refresh the page, but if I click and add an image again, you will see that it's 550 now, okay? So once you refresh this page, you will see it. You can now edit the image and things are all good to go. You just make sure that you made sure that the image is the right size. And that's how you add a product. So just to recap, you go to products, click add new. Then once you click add new, you write the title, write the description, choose the category, upload the main photo, upload a secondary photo, put a price here, put a sales price here. If any, if you want to manage stock from here, you can. Usually I don't, I just leave this alone. Always leave it in stock. If it rerun out, I just delete the product or I um, unpublish it. You leave all this stuff alone unless it's a variable product. Uh, and then you hit update or publish and it publishes. If you want to remove the product, you just go back to the product and you click on here in status on edit and you hit draft or pen and review. And then you hit OK and update and then it removes the product or hides the product for a while. And that's how you add a product.